Grand Canyon, one of the Earth's nine wonders, wonders of the world. Literally, think of that. Think of that. You're, you know, it's amazing. The enduring symbol of America to the entire world. As a matter of fact, I said nine. It's one of the seven wonders of the world. All right, how many wonders of the world are there? <laughs> That's the president of the United States. I don't know if you've heard about this, but his brain, she's a no good. That brain of his, that's a no good a brain. He's the president of the United States, a Democrat. He's not on your side. He's not on our side. Whose side is he on, Michael? Maybe Ukraine. Spent enough money in Ukraine to build a border wall twice between the United States and Mexico, but he's an open border guy. Did you see, you know, uh, uh, New York and Massachusetts are border states now. They're they're having, what is uh, New York, uh, $12 billion on like 120 illegal aliens? Everybody gets a uh, Mercedes-Benz and a four-bedroom apartment overlooking Central Park. Every illegal alien should go to New York City because they're spending billions uh, to, well, well, you get free crack pipes, you get all And you see in Massachusetts, well, everybody gets free crack pipes. That's not just for illegal aliens and gang members coming into the country with rifles and body armor. Pay no attention to that. But in Massachusetts, where they have uh, left-wing Democrat mental cases running the state because Democrats voted them into office, they have a uh, left-wing governor and a left-wing lieutenant governor. And they, are, they were both apparently elected. Uh, you know, we should probably take another look at that. But the uh, lieutenant governor there, they're very upset. They're like, oh, what is with all these? They don't call them illegal aliens, of course. They call them new Democrat voters. But uh, the lieutenant governor is now recommending that people in Massachusetts take illegal aliens into their homes. And she suggests that people have suites in their homes where they could have illegal aliens come in, like the the MS-13 suite in your house. What used to be an in-law suite in Massachusetts is uh, now the MS-13 suite. It's, uh, it's quite, it's quite uh, just invite the illegals, you know, with tattoos on their necks of spider webs and things like that. Invite them to sleep next to your daughter uh, because you're a liberal and you just might be that stupid. A lot of people will uh, take him up on it. Good recommendation by the lieutenant governor there. Pretty remarkable stuff. I've got to say, we have... <laughs> We have uh, so much. You know, it, uh, did you know that President Trump uh, is a flight risk? The, uh, the left-wing radicals who are destroying the United States of America and our judicial system is on fire because the left is here. And uh, Jack Smith, who uh, just uh, keeps charging and charging, is like the energizer bunny of uh, corrupt prosecutors. And uh, he went to the people at Twitter, to the Twitter people, uh, also, I've got a new idea about Twitter now that it's not called Twitter anymore. It's called X. What do you call it? Tweet, which that was not the greatest decision. But I have I have a solution. I came up with a solution for that uh, yesterday. I want to uh, share that with you. Uh, but Jack Smith went to the Twitter. He went to the federal court is what he did to get a warrant, a secret warrant. Had to be kept secret from President Trump because he's basically a communist. He's like a Stalinist. And so he goes to the secret. Remember how they used the secret FISA court to get four warrants to spy on President Trump? And then they they lied to the FISA court about it. And then they lied to us about it because that's what they do. They're liars. That's the thing about liars is they lie. And uh, once you start, I guess, with these liars. But they lied to us. They lied to the FISA court. Oh, no, this isn't Hillary Clinton's opposition research. This is a dossier. That's a French word for Hillary Clinton's opposition research. This is a dossier. It's real intelligence, and it's real reliable stuff. It's good. And they lied to the FISA courts, and that's the most secretive court in the United States of America, as far as we know. You know, there might be a more secretive court that's so secret we don't even know about it. But uh, as far as we know, it's the most secretive court, and they went and they lied. And then Jack Smith went to a federal court to get a secret warrant to spy on President Trump again, because they're like communists, honestly. And in uh, trying to convince the court that they needed this secret warrant to get a hold of President Trump's tweets. Aren't tweets always public anyway? I mean, couldn't they just look at his old tweets and, and that's it? Now they had to get a secret warrant and then they had to lie to the court because Jack Smith went and lied to the court and declared President Trump to be a flight risk. <laughs> well, he's going to move to <clears throat> France or something. He's going to go. 
get a chateau next to Roman Polanski uh, in the mountains? Yeah, let le, le, le Trump, le, all over France or be uh, uh, skyscrapers with let Trump uh, in lights on top of them. So this is pretty amazing. Jonathan Turley's on the case, though. Uh, federal court declares Trump a flight risk in secret subpoena decision. Honestly, we should open the show every day with the Soviet national anthem. The Democrat Party is the Soviet Union living among us. They're not Democrats. The Democratic Party isn't. These aren't liberals. This is the left. And they're fundamentally un-American. Can I just say that the Democrat Party is fundamentally un-American? Because they're, and uh, I've got, a, a, you know, 326 pages of documentary evidence to support that seemingly outrageous claim. But honestly, lie to the FISA courts, lie to the federal courts. Oh, no, Trump, he might flee the country in his own private 757. Who, who was at NBC last week? Uh, had an article mocking President Trump because a photograph and ridiculing and being snide and and sneering about President Trump because there he was aboard his own private 757, a Boeing 757, which is normally an airliner. But in President Trump's case, it's his private jet and has been for a long time. He used to own an airline, you know. And there was, uh, when it's got Trump on the side, you know, and uh, it's like he was campaigning even before he was campaigning. And there he is aboard his private 757 taxiing at a uh, major airport because he was going someplace. And that's what I always do when I'm going someplace. I get on my Boeing aircraft. And, and, the, and the Trump airplane was uh, like number three for takeoff. Uh, and they shot a picture. Somebody shot a picture. And I think it was NBC News mocked him and ridiculed him. Ha, ha, ha. There he is waiting in line like everybody else. Not like when he had Air Force One. I'm like, are you people that mentally impaired? Are you that crazed by hatred? The answer is yes, they are that crazed by hatred. Pretty uh, pretty amazing stuff. Yes, sir. And, uh, and the story was ridiculing him because... Uh, aboard his, his, his private 757, he had to wait in line at an airport. Uh, does Barack Obama wait in line when he's flying on other people's Gulfstream jets? Does he wait in line when he's uh, sailing on other people's 300-foot yachts? I, uh, the, 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 the groveling, sniveling sycophants, the cult-like behavior of really the American news media representing the American left. Uh, amazing, amazing stuff. So we've got uh, that. Uh, wait, oh, this just in. Uh, President Trump has fled the country. <laughs> what is they? Uh, they're just unbelievable. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah, he's going to France. He's opening Le Trump, Le Trump in, uh, on the Champs Elysees in Paris. Shouldn't we say Paris if we're going to say Kiev? Shouldn't we? Huh? And uh, yeah, I, the, the, the left is so completely ridiculous. All right, so we got that. Just scratching the surface on a couple of things there. Now, <clears throat> at, uh, Peter Ducey at the Fox News Channel had an opportunity. He had to climb over a fence to ask uh, Lunch Bucket Joe a, a question because there is a whole press plane full of fake reporters uh, groveling around Joe Biden every day. He was traveling, and, and literally there is another airliner full of the White House press corps anytime the president goes anywhere plus a small uh, uh, group of the press pool aboard Air Force One. And only Peter Ducey uh, and James Rosen at Newsmax ever ask any questions of the president. Ducey yesterday had a chance to ask Joe Biden, after climbing over a fence, uh, ask the president a question. And it was the question that every moron, bootlick, uh, sycophant reporter in the White House press corps should be asking. And that none of them are, which is the key to the whole thing. None of them are asking. And uh, and Joe Biden dismissed it out of hand. It's about Biden family corruption and tens of millions of dollars and and coming from uh, how the list of countries continues to grow. Ukraine and Russia, 3.5 million from the widow of Moscow's now late mayor uh, with close ties to Vlad the Impaler Putin. And I got to tell you, if, if, <laughs> if Donald Trump's family had taken in $3.5 million from a Putin ally, <laughs> the widow of uh, the late mayor of Moscow with close ties to Vladimir Putin, the, the news media honestly would be self-immolating on the steps of the Supreme Court like that Democrat did last year on Earth Day, which was, 
you know, tragic and at the same time hilarious, don't you think? The, uh, it's, uh, it was very tragic and uh, hilarious, let's be honest. You know, it's not nice to be unkind, but uh, screw them. That's, uh, that's what we got to say about that. And Joe Biden attacked Peter Ducey for asking a question. I knew you'd have a lousy question. A lousy question? Good Lord. How many grandchildren do you have? Let's, let's uh, follow up on that one. Uh, 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 Biden rips reporter Peter Ducey for a lousy question about speakerphone calls with Hunter. Yeah, that's a lousy question. It, it, boy, it's good to be a Democrat, isn't it? Uh, and it turns out that uh, there, we got another $10 million going into the Biden uh, Coffer Center. And what do we have? I cut myself off. But we got Ukraine and we got uh, Russia and uh, we've got uh, Romania and China. And now Kazakhstan. Hey, uh, Uzbeks drank our battery fluid. <laughs> hey, Yorgi. Now they got the Kazakhs in on the action. I, uh, and I've heard uh, there were so many mispronunciations yesterday on the television of Kazakhstan and Kazakhs, uh, the Kazakhstanis and uh, things like this. And I was laughing uh, because there are so many people out there in positions of responsibility who have no idea what they're talking about. Am I right, Michael? Yes, I am. Thank you. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, the, do you know that uh, Joe Biden, not that the news media is covering this, under Joe Biden, the United States has now closed down, shut down six embassies around the world. Joe Biden, you know, remember he was going to restore our uh, standing in foreign policy around the world. And he was a foreign policy expert and all that stuff. And Joe Biden, now under Joe Biden, six U.S. embassies around the world have been shut down because he's a diplomat. <laughs> The guy is just unbelievable. Uh, the Washington Post, Glenn Kessler, he updated one of his false fact checks. I believe I fact checked this fake fact check at the time with the fake fact checker, Glenn Kessler, at the fake newspaper, the Washington Post, uh, which is part of our fake news media. There's a lot of, a lot of fake going on here. The, uh, and uh, Glenn Kessler, he went back and updated, said, oh, you know that fake fact check that I had earlier, that Chris Plant fact check? He didn't include that. And he said, I've got an update on that. And the update on that is that it was completely false, totally wrong, entirely corrupt, uh, and that I got it right and he lied to, you know, the shrinking number of people that trust the Washington Post for news. So uh, we've got that, yeah. Biden surrenders America for the sixth time. Uh, my, uh, my great friend Hung Kao in Virginia, uh, Naval Academy, Navy diver, uh, wrote a piece, Biden surrenders America for the sixth time on the six embassies around the world that Joe Biden has closed down. Now, uh, President Trump moved our embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, which American presidents had given lip service for decades, and President Trump did it. Then he created six Middle East, uh, excuse me, three Middle East peace deals, six uh, embassies closed under Joe Biden, uh, three Middle East peace deals with Israel. But make no, but, but uh, 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 Barack Obama got the Nobel Peace Prize, right? <laughs> and then he bombed eight countries more countries than any president had bombed since World War II. Nobel Peace Prize at home, right? President Trump, three Middle East peace deals, no Nobel Peace Prize. What's up with that? Hmm. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? So uh, also yesterday a, uh, in Ecuador, in Quito, Ecuador, a presidential candidate was assassinated, shot, and killed. I think there was a grenade, at least according to initial reports. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, circle back like Jen Psaki and uh, see if that report of the great, uh, and because a uh, video emerged of the uh, shooting of the moment itself, I've got that. Also, the six-year-old boy uh, from a Democrat family in Virginia that brought a gun to school, his mom's gun, and shot his teacher, his single mom, and shot his teacher. Uh, we've got an update on what the charming little six-year-old Democrat said when he shot his teacher. We, uh, we got that for you. Uh, what did the January 6th committee do with all of the transcripts of the interviews and all the evidence that they collected? Got an update on that for you. Uh, Targay is being sued because of their LGBTQQIAA uh, program and uh, all that. And uh, things are going well in New York City. Lady Gaga's father had something to say about that. Bernie Sanders' corrupt family business. They're all corrupt. Uh, craziness in Hawaii, uh, Anthony Fauci, and Greenlash in Europe. We're at 
Hey, it's Chris Plant, excited to tell you about our July 2024 Listener Sea Cruise. We'll be sailing around the British Isles, visiting Scotland and Ireland. Please join us. Book by this July 31st for extra savings. Visit chrisplantcruise.com. Now, in uh, New York City, they're going crazy because um, even the radical left-wing extremists at Politico in Washington, D.C., New York City mayor puts $12 billion cost on migrant crisis. That's uh, the uh, Eric Adams, who I once had hope for, but no longer do. $12 billion. Uh, the thing is, they're buying everybody condominiums uh, along Central Park West. Every illegal alien, if you're an illegal alien, especially if you're a gang member, MS-13 uh, cartel member, go to New York City. They're buying you apartments on Central Park West. $12 billion, they're saying. Uh, if you live in New York City, get out. Get out while you can. Mayor Eric Adams on Wednesday sharpened his appeal for state and federal aid. It's an excuse to demand billions and billions of dollars more. Taxpayer dollars. These are leftists. These are not liberals. They're not leaders. They're not politicians. They're radicals, and they call themselves Democrats. Sharpened his appeal for state and federal aid, lots of cash, by presenting steep new cost prote- protections, uh, projections rather, for tens of thousands of migrants in New York City. Tens, not hundreds of thousands, but tens of thousands. Let's say, d- divide, let's say there are 50,000 illegal aliens in uh, New York City. Uh, let's divide 12 billion by 50,000. And see what kind of, he should be in handcuffs. He should be dragged away. This is another scam, another shakedown by uh, the Democrats. These these people are almost impossible to believe. Man, oh, Manischewitz. So, and and he says, if we don't get the support we need, that they're going to start threatening the world, right? Then they're going to invade Washington. New Yorkers could be left with a $12 billion bill, he said, in a formal address uh, to the public in front of City Hall. Just uh, just amazing, $12 billion. It's an estimate. Uh, by the summer of 2025, it's going to cost them 20, uh, $12 billion, rather. And the flow of migrants continues apace with current numbers. This is what he says. And uh, man, oh man, oh man. The New York Post has an editorial today. With city-killing costs for migrants, Adams must demand Fed's closed border. See, they're on the side of America there. And they've got the story, New York City migrant crisis could cost $12 billion. This is, um, this is because of Joe Biden and the Democrats. Again, he spent more money to secure Ukraine's border in the last year. So much money spent there that that money could have built two walls, two walls from the Gulf of Mexico to the Pacific Ocean between the United States and Mexico. We just did a little math with my Bomar calculator. $12 billion, and the mayor said tens of thousands of illegal aliens who came into the country illegally through our open border so they can start breaking our laws the moment they reach U.S. soil. And Democrats applaud that because they're pro-crime. Oh, I've got an update out of Florida, too, at that prosecutor who was relieved of command because she loves crime and criminals because... All Democrats love crime. It's amazing. Got it up down on that. But uh, twelve billion dollars, and that's uh, they're asking for twelve billion dollars just for the city of New York, just for the illegal aliens they have there, and because of Joe Biden and the Democrats, and uh, people are being murdered and raped and dying of drug overdoses because of the Democrats, and they're fine with that because humanity is not really their thing, notwithstanding their claims. Pay no attention. They lie a lot. They're the left for crying out loud. So $12 billion federal taxpayer dollars to New York City and New York City alone uh, because the illegal aliens that Joe Biden invited into the country, right? And he says we have tens of thousands of illegal aliens, tens of thousands. So I'm, we decided to round up, to round up and make it 100,000 illegal aliens in New York City, which is not the case, right? And that's $120,000 per illegal alien, which does not take into account all the money 
all the taxpayer dollars, federal taxpayer dollars already spent at the border, transporting them to New York, uh, you know, on and on. And they have, what is it, a right to housing bill in uh, New York City. So you're an illegal alien. You got an illegal alien um, uh, wife. You got a couple of illegal alien kids. You show up in New York City. And uh, according to the Democrats there, they have a duty and an obligation to take the taxpayers' money and give you housing because, you know, don't deport people who are here illegally. Uh, Buy them houses, you know. So $120,000 per person. So a family of four, that's $480,000, right? You got a mom and then another mom, and uh, the somehow they have two kids because, you know, Democrats. And uh, maybe one of the moms is a man. It's hard to say because the Democrats. And uh, so you got a family of four. That's $480,000. And then next year, they're going to come back for more. If you give it to them, they're going to say, hey, that worked the first time. Let's this time let's ask for twenty four billion because we're going to buy everybody condos with a view of Central Park and it'll be real nice for them, don't you think? So uh, twelve billion dollar price tag they're they're putting on uh, now. It's just amazing. The city currently spends a nightly average of three hundred and eighty three dollars per. Listen to this twenty five thousand six hundred. Asylum seekers, they're using the term asylum seekers. You know, uh, most of the world would seek asylum in the United States of America if, if these stupid rules applied worldwide. So they're saying they have 25,600 asylum seekers. So if you're using those numbers, <laughs> then it becomes even more absurd because now you're talking $12 billion divided by 25,000 asylum seekers, and uh, that's uh, $480,000 per asylum seeker, per asylum seeker, $480,000 per asylum seeker. Why Why would that be a problem? It's uh, nearly a half million dollars per asylum seeker because the Democrats are not on our side at all. Boy, are they not on our side. $480,000 per rounding, you know. From the from the twenty five thousand six hundred illegal aliens in New York City, the, you know the there are four times that number in Brownsville, Texas, and uh, the Democrats could care less. They could care less. Really, the turn of phrase should be they couldn't care less, because that's the the truth of it. Pretty amazing stuff. Now, also in New York City, Lady Gaga, she uh, sings the blues or something, and uh, Lady Gaga who I never quite uh, got, but uh, Lady Gaga has a father. Yeah, she's got a father. And he owns a restaurant, a well-known restaurant in New York City uh, on the Upper West Side. Uh, Lady Gaga's father, Lady, Lady Gaga's dad, leading the charge against unruly migrant mobs living near his Upper West Side home and restaurant, griping that they're flooding the ritzy neighborhood with a constant stream of hookers and other bad behavior. But uh, that's racist. That is just racist. How dare you say anything like that? The hookers are just looking for Hunter Biden. If it was like this when my girls were growing up, he said, I wouldn't be living in New York. That's uh, Joe. It's uh, Garamanta, Garamanata, whatever his name is. Uh, nice, uh, nice Italian name, but um, uh, Germanota, Germanota. It's uh, Joe Germanota, and he owns a restaurant. He's 66 years old. He's compiling a list of local residents and business owners and their concerns to take to lawmakers so that they can be ignored by the Democrats there. The NYPD and the homeless services in protest. Germanata uh, said he's lived in the, the Pythian building on West 70th Street for 35 years, where he raised his two daughters, including uh, Lady Gaga. She uh, doesn't like her name, I guess, her real name. Uh, he opened a restaurant there in 2012. About six weeks ago, he said, the, quietly, the city quietly and quickly transformed the uh, Stratford Arms Hotel, a residence hall for the American Music and Dramatic Academy, uh, down the block from him. Uh, and they turned it into a shelter for illegal aliens who have come illegally into the United States to be here illegally. He said it was a stealth operation. They were bussed in in the middle of the night. Like when they flew them to Westchester 
Yeah, which said Westchester County outside of New York City, which they did in the middle of the night. The Biden people did. And they didn't want anybody to know what was going on. Uh, He told the New York Post at his West 68th Street restaurant, uh, uh, Joanne Trattoria. And, and, uh, you know, they get a plug for the restaurant in there, which is nice. Uh, Pretty helpful. He says that there are mobs of illegal aliens all over the streets in his Upper West Side. And that's perfect. The Upper West Side deserves it. Nobody deserves it more than the people in his neighborhood. And I've seen this guy interviewed before, and he seems like a perfectly reasonable guy. Honestly, restaurant owner, businessman, uh, seems like a perfectly cool guy. And uh, they're destroying New York City in the name of being open-minded and being good and being generous, and you're not, see? So the residents in uh, uh, Germanata's building, he said he's the president of the board there, um, They've got lots of issues, and uh, they're angry that the Democrats aren't doing anything about it. So, But then they'll vote for them again as soon as they have the opportunity. He says, hookers are coming and going. In the mornings, you see prostitutes coming out of the building. Where do illegal aliens staying free in a hotel in uh, Manhattan on the Upper West Side get money for New York hookers? Michael, how much do New York hookers cost? <laughs> At least 40 bucks, you think. So he said the worst part is at night, the noise. It starts about 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, and goes till 4 a.m. in the morning, he says, playing music and uh, racing their motocross and motorbikes up and down the streets. Where do the illegal aliens get? <laughs> yeah, well, we're spending, you know, $480,000 per illegal alien, so I guess they get motorcycles and stuff. So Jeremiah says his girl, that girls as young as 14 are getting catcalled, and residents are being verbally abused. You know what? I've got to say, it couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of people. It couldn't be a more appropriate place for this to be happening. This is exactly what you guys deserve. This is your sanctuary city, sanctuary state stuff. And and while, you know, I kind of feel for you, uh, this is what you keep voting for because you think you're generous. So... This is what your generosity means. This is your opportunity to prove how generous you really are. Mm -mm 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 -mm. He says, I don't mind having them there. See, he's uh, he's, he's a liberal and he's an idiot. They're going to be there for three years, he said. That was the contract. I understand. But at least manage it. Put the proper security in place. I tell you, you know, if you can invest in a security company in the United States right now, that would probably be a very good investment because we're turning into Mexico City. Everybody's going to be going around, if rich people are going to be going around in armored SUVs with armed security people like you see in third world countries all over the place because Democrats, because the left is here. That's amazing. mm 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 Yes, sir. Now some people don't even walk their dogs anymore in the areas where the illegal aliens have been hanging out outside. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So this is what they've done. Now they want $12 billion more. Here's my answer. No. Pay for it yourself. Why? Well, I mean, of course, it's Joe Biden that's left the border open and all that. Uh, Let's get to uh, the idiots in uh, Massachusetts now. $12 Uh, $12 billion for New York, $488,000 per illegal alien uh, if you go with 25,000 illegal aliens. And the number they have is 25,600 illegal aliens. And in Massachusetts, where they've elected left-wing, dim-witted Democrats who doubtless went to Ivy League schools, Massachusetts officials ask residents to lend a helping hand and offer migrants an extra room in their homes. This is great stuff, isn't it? Massachusetts declared a state of emergency in response to a migrant housing shortage. Joe Biden did this, right? And the Democrat Party, the, 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 the Democrats and Joe Biden did this to the United States of America, and they're, they're still doing it, and they're doing it on purpose because they're not on our side. They are the international left. They're not liberals. This is not about being open-minded and generous. This is about bringing down the United States of America. It's been the dream of the left for generations. Now, with Barack Obama and his staffers behind the curtain in daily contact with the Biden White House, this was revealed recently, uh, even by cringe, 
cringe Jean-Pierre even confessed to this. But in Massachusetts, not a southern border state, Massachusetts Lieutenant Governor Kim Driscoll asked state residents on Wednesday, that's yesterday, to open their doors and assist housing migrants, that'd be illegal aliens that we're talking about there, after the Democrat governor, Maura Healey, declared a state of emergency. This is Massachusetts, and they're a sanctuary state too. You know, every illegal alien should be sent to a sanctuary city and a sanctuary state, and no federal money, my money, shouldn't go to them. Money from North Dakota should not go to New York City for their illegal alien sanctuary city policies and their open border policies that the Democrats are pushing. Now, I've got some, uh, some audio. So the headline Fox News up there, uh, Massachusetts official asked residents to lend a helping hand and offer migrants an extra room. That sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? Uh, so here are the, uh, the dim-witted, have the dim-witted governor, who is a dim-witted Democrat, and the dim-witted lieutenant governor, who is also coincidentally a dim-witted uh, Democrat. Let's go to Maura Healy in Massachusetts. Um, uh, just, you know, come on, just be, be generous. Give away your stuff. Uh, the, the, you know, give your daughter to MS-13. They, uh, they like your daughter. Here is uh, the uh, Massachusetts Democrat Governor Maura Healey. We're calling on everyone in Massachusetts to come together, help us meet this moment in our state, and offer a helping hand. You know, it's not like there's been a hurricane and people are fleeing a disaster area or, you know, there's been a nuclear attack uh, by Iran uh, using nuclear weapons uh, gifted to them by Obama and Biden while they spin their centrifuges and enrich uranium at secret facilities that are not being inspected by the so-called United Nations. You know, it's, this is a uh, man-made, you know, they think global warming is a man-made disaster. This is a man-made disaster. More specifically, it is a Democrat-made disaster. It's Obama and it's Biden. It's the Democrats that made this disaster. And you guys should suck it up and raise your taxes in Massachusetts especially in Boston, to pay for this. And in New York, New York City, you're just going to have to raise $12 billion off the backs of New York City residents and businesses until the place looks like Mogadishu because it's uh, well on its way. The economy is going the Mog way. Uh, pretty amazing. Here is the uh, dim-witted Democrat Lieutenant Governor, Kim Driscoll. Most importantly, if you have an extra room or suite, in your home, a suite. please consider hosting a family. Safe housing and shelter is our most pressing need. It used to be an in- in-law suite. Now <laughs> it's an MS-13 suite. I was thinking outlaw suite. It's, they call it the outlaw suite? Call it the outlaw suite. They are, uh, this is your Democrat Party in 2023. They are deliberately destroying the United States of America. They're destroying our uh, legal system. They're destroying faith and confidence in our institutions. They're destroying our educational system. They're, they're destroying our sovereignty. And, uh, and it was fine when uh, Brownsville, Texas, and, and El Paso were dealing with it. They could care less about that. They're not going to El Paso. They live in New York. Raise your taxes. Pay for it yourself. It's your idea. I shouldn't have to pay for your bad ideas, as we so often do. $488,000 per illegal alien in New York City, and they're asking us to pay for it, for their bad ideas. It's Democrat world. You know, should remake uh, like that movie West Westworld, you know? They should remake that, but make it Democrat world. And the robots just kill everybody in this one. We're at 888-630-9625. Michael Piercy and I have come up with the solution. Well, first of all, the governor's mansion in Massachusetts, I think, probably has a lot of extra room that they're not using. And they should fill the governor's mansion with illegal aliens. And if you have tattoos on your neck of spider webs and things, swastikas, then you should go to the front of the line. So the governor's mansion, and I'm 
I'm guessing since the lieutenant governor said that uh, you should house illegal aliens in a suite in your house, I'm guessing she's got some extra room in her house, too. Yeah, put them in a suite. Sure. Which suite? You know, the August suite. (laughs) So uh, some illegal aliens go into her house. And uh, the governor's mansion and then the lieutenant governor's home. And Gracie Mansion in New York, which Eric Adams says is haunted. So that'll be fun for the illegal alien kids. It'll be like a Disney movie. They can run around running from the ghosts and being scared and stuff. It'll be real fun. Then have popsicles and... And uh, But here's the solution to all this. Nationwide, we need to raise taxes on Democrats. We need to call it the stupid tax or something. Uh, but if you're a registered Democrat, then your taxes have just been doubled. Joe Biden yesterday was like, I won't raise your taxes if you don't make over $400,000. And that uh, means he's lying to us again. But I think it's time for the, the stupid tax. And if you're a registered Democrat, somebody's got to pay for all this stuff. And uh, it's you guys. You guys have come up with all these bad ideas and implemented them and voted for these idiots. So uh, you should pay for it. Uh, And then maybe when it hurts a lot, maybe then you'll pull your heads out of your, what we euphemistically refer to as your dark and remote location. Uh, Let's go to the telephones, Michael. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Brock calling from Key West, Key West, Florida. Brock. Senior plant. Hey, buenos dias, Brock. <laughs> How you doing, brother? I'm good. How about you? Hey, if you have a second, I have one bone to pick with you, mister. Bone to pick? I don't have a ton of time, but uh, feel free to uh, go right ahead. Well, we'll, we'll, let, we'll, we'll catch you another time. So I fly back into Fort Lauderdale on an international flight uh-huh. uh, this past Monday night. Uh-huh. I land there. I'm at the front of the plane. <clears throat> I'm running for global entry to get through immigration quickly at five o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm stopped by CBP. All the officers come walking out, stop everybody, the entire plane load. In the other direction comes, I estimate it counting about 1,200 Haitians. We are airlifting Haitians into Florida right now. I, uh, I jumped in the back of the line there. I was trying to squeak by, and the woman said, are you in the Biden program? Mm -hmm. I said, well, if it gets me through line line faster, honey, I am. (laughs) Wow. The age of Biden. 